1996, French intelligence secretly monitors a meeting of Saudi billionaires at the Hotel Royal Moncou in Paris earlier that month with the financial representative of Al-Qaeda. The Saudis, including a key Saudi prince joined by Muslim and non-Muslim gun traffickers, meet to determine who would pay how much to Osama bin Laden. This is not so much an act of support, but a protection playoff to keep the mad bomber away from Saudi Arabia, according to Greg Palast. Participants also agree that bin Laden should be rewarded for promoting Wahhabism, an austere form of Islam that requires literal interpretation of the Quran in countries such as Chechnya, Kashmir, Bosnia, and other places. According to the Fifth Estate on October 29, 2003, this would extend an alleged secret deal first made between the Saudi government and bin Laden in 1991. Later, 9-11 victims' family members under his lawsuits will rely on the non-published French intelligence report of this meeting in their lawsuit against Saudi Arabia. According to French terrorism expert Jean-Charles Blissard and Greg Palast, there were about 20 people at this meeting, including Saudi intelligence head Prince Turkey al-Faisal, an unnamed brother of bin Laden, and an unnamed representative from the Saudi Defense Ministry. Palas claims that Saudi businessman Abdullah Taha Bakish attends the meeting. Bakish also served as Bush Jr.'s Harkin Oil and saved the company from bankruptcy around 1990. Palas claims the notorious Saudi billionaire Adnan Khashoggi also attends the meeting. In a somewhat tongue-in-cheek manner, Slate magazine had claimed that Adnan Khashoggi is a shadowy international arms dealer who is connected to every scandal of the past 40 years. Among other things, he was a major investor in BCCI Bank and a key player in the Iran-Contra affair, according to their article, December 4, 2000. Greg Palas noted that the French monitored the meeting and asked, since U.S. intelligence was thus likely informed, the question becomes, why didn't the government immediately move against the Saudis? To know more, we go back to the interview of Bob McCowan of the Fifth Estate and to French terrorism expert and analyst Jean-Charles Boussard, an interview that took place on December, October 29, 2003. McCowan. I want to go back to the meeting in 1996 in Paris. How do you know about that meeting in Paris? Brassard, through witnesses and through intelligence sources. McCowan, French intelligence? Brassard, I won't be able to say. So intelligence sources. McCowan, and from your information, where did the meeting take place? Who was it at and what was decided? Brassard. What we know, the meeting took place in June 1996, took place that with the same person that invested in Harkin Energy, the George W. Bush company, Khalid bin Mahfouz, a representative, then Minister of Defense, and a brother of Osama bin Laden was there. There were also three or four arms dealers. We know about 20 persons that were at this meeting. McCowan. Was Osama bin Laden himself there? Bessard. No. The royal family is in a very weak position. And each time you speak to a Saudi, and you probably did for this show, but they will tell you privately, the United States and other nations think they can act against those people. They're fools. Because the exact day we act against those people, next day, we're out of the country. McCown. And what was discussed and what was decided? Bussard. From what our associates told us, the purpose of the meeting was to assess the situation, and to a certain point, it was clear to participants that bin Laden fighting in a broad theater of operations, we may say in Chechnya, Kashmir, and in Bos Bosnia, 
was helping the kingdom in the sense that it was promoting and propagating Wahhabism, and it was worth paying him to do so abroad to prevent him, of course, coming back to Saudi Arabia and trying to oppose the king and the royal family for having the United States here. The royal family is in a very weak position, and they cannot afford an attack inside the country. McCown. Sort of who has concluded that there was no opposing bin Laden and al-Qaeda at that meeting in Paris in 96, was it then also decided that more money would change hands to continue that? Bassard, yes. I mean, the clear deal was at the time they agreed to and apparently find ways to pour money to Osama bin Laden abroad. McCown, do we know how much money? Bassard, again, if you look at the figures, Figures available today, we could estimate that within a 10-year period, the Saudi kingdom gave half a billion dollars to Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda. 